Hello and uh, welcome to another OpenShift video tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how we can deploy Prometheus monitoring on OpenShift and along with uh, Grafana dashboard. So I have my tutorial listed on this uh, repository, github.com uh, slash Debian master and OpenShift examples repository. Uh, with this, let's get started. I've already logged in into OpenShift console with a user called developer and also on the CLI as well. So let's go and uh, get started. Uh, I'm going to switch to OpenShift infra, pro infra project on CLI. And then, uh, so when we deploy uh, Prometheus, applic Prometheus application, it runs with a service account called default. And that service account needs to have a cluster reader permission so that it can go and fetch all the metrics uh, inside OpenShift cluster. So I'm going, to, I'm going to give cluster reader permissions to the service account. Right, that's it. And also, um, this is a temporary fix uh, to basically run um, Prometheus in a um, with a root user. Generally, we don't prefer to run containers as root, but uh, I didn't have much time to work on the customizing the Prometheus image. So I'm going to use this hack for us, for this purpose. Uh, so this basically gives uh, ability to run root containers um, inside OpenShift. So, and this is applicable on, only inside the OpenShift Infra project that we see. Then I'm going to deploy a new application called um, Grafana. So this Grafana image will be fetched from Docker Hub and then gets deployed onto OpenShift. So if I go and uh, take a look inside um, OpenShift Infra project, uh, which I don't have access, but I can look it on the command line where I have logged in as admin. So let me go and deploy that. Alright, so you can see um, a new application uh, called Grafana has been deployed. Um, this is just another hack. Um, I had to put it because the default Grafana image has some issues. I, when I remove the volume, it was working. So this you may not you may not need this always, but just just a fact. Alright, and then I'm going to deploy a uh, Prometheus application. So this is going to Docker Hub and then deploy Prometheus uh, Docker image and deploy it as an app, uh, image application inside OpenShift. So I got Prometheus and also uh, Grafana is getting deployed. Uh, Grafana got already deployed. Prometheus is getting deployed. You can see it is in running state now, Prometheus. If I do OC get parts, I have Grafana and Prometheus both running. Then I need to create a uh, Prometheus, conf Prometheus config map. Um, this config map is uh, the Kubernetes config map, which we will which we will mount as a volume inside uh, Prometheus uh, container. Uh, because we need to have the Prometheus configuration uh, loaded to basically listen to Kubernetes cluster and fetch all metrics. So if we go take a look inside the configuration map here, this just contains all the scrape configs like uh, Kubernetes node uh, uh, exporter basically looks at the cluster of the Kubernetes and then fetches all the data, all the monitoring data. So this is called Prometheus dash k86 uh, config map. So I'm going to create this uh, config map. So for that I need to use this link, the raw link, okay. And then oc create minus f. So config map has been created. And after that this uh, this config map should be mounted as a volume inside Prometheus. So this is a command that that does that. 
I can also do it from UI, uh, but this is the shortest way, so I'm going to just use this. So you can see I'm mounting a volume um, to the Prometheus uh, deployment configuration at this location. So at the Prometheus uh, location and the file name will be prometheus.yml. So that should be it uh, as far as the deployment is concerned or of course we need to configure Grafana. Uh, this user does not have access to the OpenShift Infra project, so I'm going to provide op access. All I need to do is uh, OC ADM policy add cluster role to user. I'm just giving cluster admin to this guy. Of course, you will not do it in real, uh, in the real world, but just for the sake of simplicity. So I'm going to open shift info project here and you can see Prometheus and Grafana are running and I need to create a route for Prometheus. Just hit create here, give the defaults. If I go hit this, you can see my Prometheus is running. I can, I can see all the uh, Kubernetes related metrics here. Um, you, can, you can do it from here if you want to see logs, uh, but uh, I'm more interested in the Grafana interface. So I'm going to use Grafana here. So I've exposed Grafana uh, URL and then click the Grafana URL. The default username is admin and admin. I hit create. And once you are in Grafana, uh, click on add, add to data, add data source and then give it as uh, give some name and then in the drop down select Prometheus and in this URL you need to provide the public URL not the uh, service name uh, service name was not working um, so I just give service name here and I believe we should not give the ending trial like slash um, I had some issue with that so you can see it, it works but if you provide slash it, it will not work so just be careful with that all right so I have added the uh, data source this is my Prometheus data source uh, next thing is I'm, I need to go and set up a dashboard so I'm going to click on import here or maybe just press uh, dashboards and then view I can do it here or I can just import whatever I have uh, in the repo. So I can click on add to import and then uh, we need to paste the dashboard JSON that you have here. So I just select everything and then paste it as a JSON. That's it. And then this is my open shape cluster and the data source for this um, dashboard is my Prometheus. And I hit import and you should be able to see OpenShift metrics coming up here. So the you can select individual nodes. Uh, if you have a big cluster, you can see all those nodes here and then select individual nodes to see how they are performing. Um, and you can see the cluster wide memory usage, um, CPU usage. I could not get this file system working uh, but rest everything seems to be okay. I can see the pod CPU usage. Uh, you can see the CPU usage by uh, pod name um, and also memory usage uh, by pod name. So I click on this container memory usage. Um, you can see which uh, containers are taking a lot of memory. So you can see OpenShift Origin is taking about 357 megabytes and then Spring application that I have in my, um, oh, this is uh, Docker running, not the pod. So the, the pod that is running on this OpenShift cluster, the Prometheus is taking about 50 MB and Grafana of 12 MB. The OpenShift router itself is taking 24 MB. And then also if I have another application deployed that will show it here. 
this is a docker related uh, the docker daemon that is running on my host but i'm only interested in the parts that i have here which is running inside openshift so it gives a lot of nice uh, uh, information on your existing cluster metrics um, if you like the video please give a thumbs up and also uh, share it with uh, with other with your colleagues and um, also subscribe to this channel thank you very much